Shopify craft theme customization tutorial. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can customize or fully customize the craft theme on Shopify. The first thing that you have to do is to get your Shopify account ready. When I say ready, it is uh, a pre-configured account. So you put your products, for example, you put your theme ready. And to go for the theme, all you have to do when you set up your Shopify information and your Shopify account, after setting up your orders, for example, or your products, you can go to the online store right here. As you can see on the sales channels, here, it will go directly with the themes. This is the first drop down uh, option right here. You can see that I have currently the Dawn uh, menu or the Dawn theme already set. This is my current theme. Now for the theme library, as you can see here, we have four or three themes. The total is a four stock theme. The first one is Dawn, second one is Sans, third one craft and the refresh one here also you have a popular free themes that you can choose from the library there are a lot of themes uh, right here as you can see i have clicked on the visit theme stores you can see here there are some paid and free themes there are a lot of expensive themes and also free themes that you can use they these are from the beginner's theme or from the amateur theme to the uh, expert theme right here for example for the uh, expensive shop or ex expensive clothing shops like this prestige now let's go to the craft theme we have it right here on the theme library let's go right here it is much simpler all we have to do is to publish the theme it will be, uh, this is a previewer for the uh, laptop and the mobile one. I will go with publish. As you can see here, the current theme is craft. Now I can customize it by clicking on this tab right here, customize. It will uh, show up the uh, theme customizer or the theme editor. This is my theme. Right here, you can see that we have the collection right here everything is customizable from the announcement bar to the header to the theme or the template and the footer this is the footer now let's go step by step to uh, see what do we have here now the first thing that we will see on the header is two two things announcement bar which is uh, this announcement bar when you click on this for example, you can see that we have this announcement bar. You can, for example, uh, modify it. You can duplicate it. You can hide it or remove it. You can uh, change the uh, color scheme. For example, let's go with this white or uh, this beige color like this. You can go ahead and modify the text uh, also. It is very simple. Now we can, for example, uh, drop it right here this is the announcement bar I will change the color so you can distinguish it this is the announcement bar uh, now we have this header the announcement bar should be at the top of the page so we can customize it or make something special appear on it for example you can use some codes and make a scrolling horizontally uh, announcement bar or you can let it right here you can put also a link on the uh, announcement bar so for example you have a promotion going on you can put it right here for example welcome to the store newcomers for example minus 20 percent off and they click on the 20 percent off so they will get the products that have the uh, the promotion on uh, the uh, announcement bar we have right here you can go and select it and for example go with welcome to the store like this new commerce has 20 percent for example 20 percent not not this 20 percent not this again off like this this is 
the uh, text you can put a dynamic source or you can for example go and paste a link for it let's go with uh, products I will link it to the products for example here I have all the products that I have uh, added to my store I will go and guide them to the sweater number one it will be uh, redirecting them to the uh, page of the sweater uh, and now for the header this is the header we have the logo in the middle if you want to change the position of the logo for the desktop logo all you have to do is to click right here desktop logo position you can put top left top center middle left like this middle center let's go with middle left like this here you can modify the logo for example you can go and choose the color scheme or upload the logo you can uh, if you want to change the menu you can click on main main menu you can add a menu or create a new menu right here you have desktop menu type this is the desktop menu type you can go with it like a drop down a mega menu for example or a drawer here is the menu you can see that it is a drawer a mega menu like this and a drop down menu for example you have a uh, menu that has a lot of uh, sub menus or sub pages it will be uh, like a drop down menu when you for example you select home you will get a lot of uh, pages uh, below the menu you can change the uh, color scheme you can go with this for example like this or you can go to your color by theme settings you can add a color scheme I want to recommend you a website that for example you want to get a lot of colors uh, customization or color codes like these you can go directly to coolers.com or coolers.co this is the uh, link you type on google coolers.co and you will see here the uh, uh, the trade trending color palettes these are the palettes that goes together you can see here the from the blue to the green to the gray to the brown to the purple any color that you want has its uh, individual code you can go and copy or write the code on the uh, for example the text or the solid button the outline button the shadow that you want and you are good to go uh, this is a ugly scheme let's go back with this scheme for example um, this let's go with this now this is the the one that we want here we have the logo we can change for example since I have a uh, logo that has a white background it is not removed you can go ahead and select or upload a new logo uh, I have created a logo choosing or working with Canva here I have this summer removed background logo I will upload it right away then we will see the results uh, a little recommendation for you guys if you want to put a logo you have to remove the background from the logo so it will appear like this it will look more professionally and will have a great look overall like this here this is the logo now let's go back to the header and see some more option you can put the uh, region or country selector this is here and the uh, currency of course this is the region and country selector of course with the currency you can uh, put the language selector right here for example we have the language selector let's go right here and see uh, country and region let's see enable where is the language selector it doesn't matter it is up to you here mobile logo version uh, position you can put it left or center uh, a little uh, reminder 
here when you put the uh, theme editor you have to see all the uh, devices compatible with it for example here we are working on the desktop version if you apply a modification you have to go also with the mobile version so you can see or mm, get your uh, theme uh, going on uh, very well and very smooth for example there are some features or some options that you have that doesn't suit the uh, mobile version so it will suit only the desktop version like for example this I have removed some spaces or some collection spaces that I have set they were looking ugly on the desktop or uh, even with the device which is the mobile I have the, removed them so I can uh, browse our latest product, let it here or for example I will remove this black and let only the products going on. I can add a video for example right here. Uh, let's go back and add a video or let's go to the right here which is where is our selector. You can add a section right here. You can click only add a section then you can go for example to video right here it will show up a video uh, shower you can uh, name it the video here you can select the video and upload it I have already uploaded a video I will go and put the video here if you want to add some files or some videos to directly and get the link for example for the embedded codes or something like this all you have to do here I will click save I will guide right right away you click on exit and then you go to content here to the files this is a drop down menu you have the meta objects then you have the files all you have to do is to go to the files then you can upload files directly right here for example you want to uh, put an image a video or a sound all you have to do is to upload them from here and then when finishing uploading the file they will give you a link this is a link from Shopify you can uh, go and add them to the embedded codes or something like this let's go back to the themes let's customize again the theme see the options that we will have here we have the header the header it is right here uh, now let's go back to you can add a block right here on the header you can add an app the block here you have added uh, you can add a section for example we have no blocks right here to add but we have the options uh, the application I mean here the section you can add a section we have the custom liquid for example if you want to add a moving bar for example or you have the standard announcement bar it is very limited but with the custom liquid it is a little bit um, uh, free with the customization you have the apps of course that you can add for example if you have a reviewing app you can install them from Shopify App Store and add it here we have the template we have the collage right here we have the collage you can put a heading for example you can add a color scheme this is white you can add the collage here a lot of photos you can put the uh, photos of the collage and you can add whatever you want for example presentation let's type presentation let's see here we can have a presentation going medium large for example let's go with the capital P and right here now let's go back to the uh, template you can add a block this is a image block product block collection block or a video block let's go with the image block this is a big Im image block you can modify it or for example select an image let's go with the logo make a big logo image it is right here or you can remove it by simply clicking on it and remove the block you can add also products or whatever you want here we have added a video you can add featured collection custom liquid code and finally we have the footer here the footer we have the email sign up we have the footer itself which contains the country and region and the payment methods shown right here when you put your stripe 
or the other payment methods they will be shown right here uh, in just a click the email sign up for example let's go with the footer and see whatever section that we can add only two uh, options email sign up or custom liquid and the footer we have here this is also customizable you can add the email sign up you can add another email sign up or if you have a, a bar to subscribe to our emails you don't have to put the emails you can put a here uh, subscribe to our emails or join like this our news letter for example like this and let's see here this is uh, the option for this let's go then and delete this right here this is the footer I will remove the custom liquid and we are good to go right here that was for the footer you can add a block you can add a menu brand information text images etc etc for example uh, let's go like this you can all make everything customizable here the theme settings here we have the logo where you can put the logo right here now we have the colors the colors schemes that you can add or modify you have the typography you can add a typography right here we have also the layout page width space between template sections everything customizable you have the animation uh, reveal se se sections on scroll you can have the buttons thickness opacity everything right here the shadows variant pills like here this is fully customizable put in uh, you have inputs product cards product collection everything and the media you can have everything customizable right here also you have the custom CSS which you can add a code for example and etc that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching I hope that you have enjoyed the uh, video and see you on the next one